college sucks. Oh! But for real guys, maybe college isn't for you. How's it going guys, Xavier Sanchez here, entrepreneur, fashion and fitness influencer, and I'm here to talk to y'all about college. More specifically, should you go to college? I have a lot of friends uh, who are just graduating high school. They don't know whether or not they should go. Only go if it is required to go. Don't go if your parents are making you go. More than likely, I'm not saying that you won't, but more than likely you won't like going to college because someone is forcing you to go. That'll only be a waste of $40,000 and you'll be a part of that $1.3 trillion of student loan debt. If you're gonna be a doctor law, uh, or a lawyer, or things of that nature you know, in the law or uh, medical field, of course, get it, by all means, go to college, get a college degree. If you're gonna become like an entrepreneur or a freaking plumber or something, it's not required, okay? You can get training somewhere else. Don't even go to trade school, okay? Like, freaking buy a program or learn it from your Uncle Bob. Don't waste your time because time is too precious. Don't waste money. And no, I'm not going to college. I don't think it'll be useful for me. You know, not that it'll offer us you know, no value, I know where I can make it without college. And I know I can make it to the top without getting a, a, a degree. Too many times people make the mistake of thinking that college is the only way to success when it is only just one option. College doesn't guarantee anything. 50, 60% of people don't even get employed in the field that they went to college for. You know what that's called? That's called being underemployed. Four years is a long time. In that time span, while you're spending $40,000 on a class that you think you're gonna get into, actually think about what is required and what is not required. I'm a social media marketer, okay? I've pitched potential clients like 10, 15 of them. Now, one time did they ask me if I had a college degree or a certification and what I do. As long as you know what you're talking about, you'll be good. People aren't gonna question if you have a college degree or not. The formal education doesn't do anything to you but get you employed. Prepares people to be employed. What do you hear all the time? Go to college, get a high degree, and then get a high paying job. Right? You hear that all the time. Get a high paying job. I don't want a high paying job. I don't want to be employed by anybody. I don't want to be employed by someone who will look and judge me based on a piece of paper. That doesn't mean anything. I can have a piece of paper with no experience. I want experience, actual hands on. Instead of going to college, I can spend four years of my life starting a business and actually getting hands on experience. Without a degree, four years of experience. With a degree, no experience. This is where I want to be at, okay? I can grow, expand, I can explode a business in four years if you have the right education. I'm not saying I don't believe in higher education because I completely do. There's a lot of adults that ask me, are you going to college? And I tell them no. And they're like, why? Don't you want higher education? Yeah, I want higher education. They don't understand. There's a difference between the school system and education. There's a difference between the two. Higher education doesn't mean going to college. Of course, that is a form of higher education. I believe in education. I completely do. I just don't believe in the formal education system. After high school, I will carry on my learning process. Learning never stops. Learning is a lifelong experience. Just remember that. Finish high school, continue learning. Continue learning, grow your mind. Because knowledge is power, but more than that, implemented knowledge is power. Just knowledge sitting in your head is wasted space. Make sure that everything that you're absorbing in your brain is being put to use to help you achieve the higher goal. First of all, don't go if you don't want to go because that'll be a waste of time and money. Don't go if it's not needed to go. Like I said, if you want to be a businessman, I'm not going to say don't go to college, but just know that it's not guaranteed. I don't recommend it only because you can find a mentor. Mentors are powerful. If you find a mentor, they'll bring you under their wing and carry you and teach you what they have built. Teach you how to build what you want to build. They'll take you under the wing and guide you along the path to success. And if you're an introvert, I said it in the last video, there are books, okay? Wealthy businessmen have made books about their whole lives that you can learn from. And maybe you don't want to be rich, maybe you don't want the fancy cars, fancy house, but I'm pretty sure you don't want to be broke. I'm pretty sure you don't want to be $40,000 in debt for something that you don't even know that you want to do. Everybody wants financial stability. 
okay? Don't think that college is the only way to get you financial stability because it is only one option, one of the options in this world. Parents, a lot of parents nowadays are born with a black and white mind and I don't blame them for that, okay? Because in, in the 1900s, college was the only way. Okay, college was the only way to success. If you went to Harvard, if, if you went to freaking Yale, you're basically guaranteed to be successful. That's how it was back then, but now it's the 21st fucking century, it's 2017. There are too many opportunities for you not to succeed. Ty Lopez, Ty Lopez's mentor, Joel Salatin, said, it's crazy how people sleep with the amount of opportunities there are in the world. So the way our world works right now, you can be successful at any age, any race, I don't care who you are, you can be successful. You just have to know the resources, know the people, and how do you do that? You get off your ass and start doing what you wanna do. So many people, they sit, they procrastinate on things. I know a lot of people who are freaking seniors right now, or they already graduated high school, and they still don't know what they wanna do. I ask them, what do you wanna do? Either they tell me they wanna go to college, or they don't know. So why do you wanna go to college? I don't know, I'm probably gonna study this, or I might study that. I'm like, bro, you already graduated. You should know this by now. The earlier you know, the better. I wish I would have known what I know right now, like two, three years ago. Why? Because I could experiment with that. The older you get, the less time you have to experiment with things. I'm not saying what you're doing right now will last. Shit, what I'm doing right now might not even last. It might not. Honestly, it's something that I want to do, so I'm gonna execute on it. I probably went through like 10, 15 phases growing up. I had the professional magician phase, the professional parkourist phase, the professional uh, martial artist phase. I had all of them. Every time I have an idea, I execute on it so fast. And that's how you experiment. If you wanna do something, execute to the highest extent that you possibly can. That if it fails, at least you know that it failed, so now you can move on. It's a lot about knowing yourself and who you are. You know, work to your strengths. If you're an introvert, work behind the scenes. Got this from Ty Lopez, if you're an introvert, Work behind the scenes. If you're an extrovert, work to your strengths. Get out there, network with people, connect with influencers in your field. No matter if you're going to college or not, you are who you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with four winners, you're gonna be the fifth one. If you surround yourself with four losers, you're gonna be the fifth loser. You're only who you surround yourself with. Your net work is your net worth, meaning if you're hanging around with millionaires, more than likely, you'll be pretty darn successful. But if you hang around with a bunch of broke people, or either they're where you are, or they're, they're trying to get to where they want to be, you know, more than likely you're gonna be like them. Now going back to what I was saying about college. <laughs> For those of y'all who are thinking about going to college, please do some research, make sure you know why you're going, and if it's something you really want to do, by all means, go for it. I don't slander college at all, you know, it offers a lot of value to some people, but for me, it's just not for me. I don't think that I'll be left at any type of disadvantage if I don't go, and that's what a lot of people think as well, that if they don't go, they'll be left at some type of disadvantage, which is, which is not true, it is not true. Of course, there are exceptions like the law field or medical field, whatever. Don't think that the college is the only way to success. Now, I want you to really think about what you wanna do, okay? I don't want you to not go to college and fail. I want everybody, I want every one of you to succeed at what you wanna become. Now go out there, find a mentor if you need to, read some books if you need to, take some programs, go to college if you need to. But the overall end result for y'all and what I want y'all to do is to reach your goal. Succeed at what you wanna do. If you go to college or not, make sure you're the best at whatever you're gonna get into. If you're gonna be a plumber, be the best goddamn plumber you can be. If you're a martial artist, be the best martial artist you can be. These are not my words, these are the words from Master Andrew Mira. Whatever you're gonna be, be the best at what you can be. If you're a teacher, be the best teacher. If you're, if you're a freaking dishwasher for a restaurant, be the best goddamn dishwasher you can be. Execute on what you need to. Don't waste time, don't procrastinate. Time is precious, remember that. Time is too precious to be wasted. I hope this brought you a lot of value. Please leave in the comments one thing that you got out of this video. Put in the comments one thing you got out of this video and tell me how it will help you on your way to wherever you wanna go. So guys, please, please follow me on Instagram and Snapchat right here and leave a like and subscribe below if you enjoyed this video. Remember, stay fit, stay smart, and stay fresh. I'll talk to y'all later.